Tim Reeve at Chris Reeve Knives. Um, this is our brand new Nkosi. Uh, we did release it back in June at uh, Blade Show. Has a couple of improvements, some innovations that we've brought to the knife. Um, you know, standard uh, from the school of the Sebenza, but uh, a couple of improvements. The first time that we've put a, a large pivot on the um, on a small knife, um, so it gives you a nice strong strong pivot. Um, and then based off of there, we went, and you can see here, there's a, we did very large washers. Uh, it gives you a lot of sideways strength. Um, also, you know, with a, you can put bigger holes in there to have a little bit of less friction, so you get a nice smooth feel. Um, another thing that we've done with this, this knife uh, is the first time that we've added the ceramic ball end lock to the end of the lock bar on a small knife. We introduced it with the looms on and uh, brought it out with the Seventa 25. This is the first time that we've done it with the, uh, a small knife. So it gives you a very strong and consistent lock up uh, at the end of the lock bar. And uh, it's a, a very, very, very strong point. Instead of, and you'll have no wear. Um, so you don't have to worry about the lock, lock bar moving after time. The other thing that we've introduced with this uh, is, for the first time on a small knife, is the large hollow grind. It's a it's a, a shallower hollow. It's right between a, 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 the standard hollow grind and a flat grind. So the flat grind typically gives you a, a stronger, more material, so it's a stronger blade. Hollow grind gives you more sharpening life, so you can sharpen it more times before that angle starts to turn up on you. You know, it turns out like this. So this gives you halfway between, you have a lot of sharpening life and a lot of strength left in the blade. So this is a very overbuilt knife for the size of it is. Um, you can see the washers are even uh, a little bit outside there, so you can see the washers. Um, another thing that we've done, just to, to even strengthen it up a little bit, on the back side here you can see that little, little groove. Uh, it's, a, it's a ball track groove for the ceramic ball, so when it comes around, that ceramic ball actually locks in there and you get zero play on the lock bar. So it's an incredibly strong pivot. Um, it just makes the knife function really well. So those are the major improvements for the Nkosi and, and uh, they put one in my, uh, in my pocket after, after his release and I've totally fallen in love with it since. So it's, uh, it's a great little knife. It's slightly smaller than the, the standard um, Sebenza, the small Sebenza 21 but it's, uh, it's thicker in blade stock, thicker in handle, and uh, it's just an, an over, basically an overbuilt knife for the size that it is. So that's the long and the short of it.